Wow, it doesn't smell half bad. Welcome to another episode of AM Whiskey. I'm Aaron, and this is Mark. And today, uh, we're gonna play off of a uh, recent Bourbon junkin Junkie video uh, where they went over and updated, you know, a couple years ago, Reddit came out with that, the five whiskeys that you need, uh, or the only five whiskeys that you need, the daily drinker, the cheap mixer, the Friday night pour, the impress your guest and special occasion. Well, the bourbon junk is just at an updated list where they did your uh, your starter pour, the pour that you use to start your night. Um, then they use your daily drinker. Then it was uh, your small group it, or your hipster your bottle. Your hipster bottle. A bottle that you were on to before it became famous. Uh, your small circle bottle, so the bottle that you're going to drink with your small circle of bourbon friends. And then your bottle share bottle, the mm. bottle that you're going to take to a bottle, to a bottle share, share to, to enjoy with a larger group of people uh, where you're doing that. So we figured we would uh, do our list of the five. And there's a reason why we have 1792 small batch sitting on the table right now. And that's because this is our warm up pour. Yep. This is the uh, bourbon that we always use to start our night to try and calibrate our palates, uh, 1792 small batch. So it, it's the one, it's relatively low proof, relatively cheap. Easy to find. Easy to well find. Well rounded, right? I mean, it's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of oak, a little bit of spice, right? And it's, it's really consistent and it's not just me and him. It, there's a bigger group of us all doing it together. Um, and this is the little 90 proofer. That's the, the warm up slash calibration pour. Yep. So this is our night starter, 1792 small batch. Since it was the same for both of us, we just thought we'd throw it out here. That's what we have in our glass because we're starting our, uh, yeah. our night off. And I'll go next, my daily drinker. And this is kind of a cheat because my daily drinker is Michter's. This is the sour mash, but it doesn't have to be the sour mash. It's any of the standard Michter shelf bottles, the American whiskey, the sour mash, the bourbon, the rye. I love them all. Fantastic. Uh, that's my daily drinker. Nice. All right. My daily drinker is Buffalo Trace. Not any Buffalo Trace, but preferably a store pick Buffalo Trace. Why? I have too many of them. And... <laughs> I have so many Buffalo Trace store picks, I want to make a conscious effort to start drinking them down. And so that's now my daily drinker, new for 2024. I have too many Buffalo Trace store picks. <laughs> and someone got to drink that stuff. And when my friends aren't over helping, I'm going to help myself. Yep. I like it. I like it. All right. So the hipster bottle. Hipster bottle. Oh, this is going to be an entertaining one. So Aaron's way more hip than I am. Well, for me, it's Ben Holiday. And I know this one's gotten a lot of hype uh, recently, but I feel like I was pretty early on oh, in this, this train. Uh, love Ben Holiday, still do. Um, all of their bottles are, are good. Um, so that's my hipster bottle. It's one that not everybody is hip to. I mean, if you're in the whiskey tube community, you've heard about it. Um, but this one was uh, fairly early on in my journey, and so that's my hipster bottle. Interesting. Mine is old. Mine I've had three or four years. Oh. It's almost finally dead. Oh. He likes this bottle, reportedly, supposedly. It's really odd shaped, and it's a pain in the butt to get it out of the carrying case. <laughs> One second, please. Please hold for technical difficulties. I mean, I like most bottles, so... A few moments later. It is Lucky 7, Okay. the 12 year 100 proof holdup. I've had this bottle multiple years. As you can see, it's it's pretty close to being dead, but you know, anytime we do a 12 year taste off or want to give someone some, maybe some old Barton, this one is the one I go to. It's, it's I good. like it. it. It was surprisingly good. I think I got it for $99. It's good. I won it in a Cubs Brewers Baseball game bet, the you know, $100 bottles, me versus another guy. 
The other guy took me to the liquor store after the Cubs won the only game that year. Oh, maybe not that bad. Um, and that's the bottle I came home with about hey, three or four years ago. this year. Yeah, right surprisingly. after. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, after they just lost the game 15 to 1. All right, so here's my small circle bottle. So this is a bottle that I'm going to break out just when it's my small circle of friends. Oh, you're, you're interested in this, huh? I All can't right. wait to see this. I mean... There's a couple that I that I debated with, <laughs> but I wasn't sure what you were gonna go. I wanted to go with uh, something a little different. Mine's the Russell's Reserve Single Rick House Camp Nelson. Uh, of my small circle of friends, uh, I think this is a bottle that I can break out. Uh, some of them haven't had it, or uh, but I know some of them don't own it. Whereas some of my other bottles, people have had or have owned. So. That's one that I'll break out for my uh, small circle. I can confirm. I think most of the small circles probably had a pour of that already. Yeah, I think that's a great pick. I um, didn't think of that one for you. Mine isn't necessarily this bottle, but it could be any from this genre. It's simple. This one is Stag, no junior. This is 22A. So, you know, anytime around friends, if you're drinking barrel strength whiskey, at some point you gotta throw out a little stag. And this one, as you can see, has been pretty well hit. And our small circle tends to really like stag. So, and they're batched, so you can get different varieties there. So I yeah. like it. Yeah. All right. And then my bottle share is another one that's a little unique. Mm. It's Barrel King. And the reason I went with this, this particular batch, it's batch 81. It's uh, Matt Porter's first blend with Barrel King 80 HD whiskey. But unless you are uh, big into the whiskey tube community rabbit hole, however yeah, you, you might want to not have it, heard of it, you might not have heard of Barrel King in general, let alone uh, Matt Porter uh, specific blend. And it's not just this blend. It's any of the Barrel Kings. Um, they come out with at least two batches every month. Um, it is a subscription-based whiskey, so uh, like I said, not a lot of people have had it. So it's a bottle that I'm like, okay, it's not super rare, not super expensive, but one that not a lot of people have tried. So for me, perfect bottle share bottle. That's a really good bottle share bottle. That's I like that bottle a lot. <sighs> Back at it. So bottle share bottle. I don't know what to bring. I have so many bottles of whiskey, I don't know what to bring. And so I cop out. And I have too many Eagle Rare store picks. Everybody loves an Eagle Rare store pick. Everybody that's into whiskey generally will say the same thing. Eagle Rares, eh, it's all right. But some Eagle Rare store picks are just awesome. Really good. Most of them are rock solid. I think for a bottle share, bring in an Eagle Rare store pick, and it's somewhere between that good... Uh, really good yeah. and they're unique i think it's great and it's plus it's 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 a low enough proof with enough flavor where you can have a couple more pours i agree and i think you can't go wrong with a store pick at a bottle share they're usually you know they're single barrels they can be unique um so they're always good to share because none of them are exactly the same and if you get a good store pick no matter what it is i think it's a great bottle to take to a bottle share Yep. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a few comments. Don't forget to post what your five bottles would be, right? And other than that, keep the whiskey flowing. And have a great night.